Guna reacts on BG Media, and I am joined by none other than his honor, Lee Judges. How are you, mate? Yeah, all good. Thank you very much. You okay? Uh, doing well, man. Doing well. Thanks for coming on and uh, and doing this with me. I know it's late over there for you tonight, so uh, let's uh, let's dive right in. Uh, solid, if uh, unspectacular, W for the boys tonight. We move on to the fourth round. Keep a clean sheet. Uh, thoughts? Take it away. Yeah, yeah, comfortable. I thought it was a comfortable win. I thought we should have had a penalty in the first half. Um, uh, you know, they had a couple of chances first half. But I thought what was the best thing about it, if I'll be honest, was in the second half, Mikel Arteta got into him a little bit. And second half, I don't think Leno had a shot to save. We kept him at arm's length. Pepe got into the game a little bit more. I thought we had a poor first half, but really come into it yeah. second half. I thought he was the difference between the two teams, if I'm being honest. Uh, and it was a, a good, solid performance all round. You know, uh, even, um, dare I say, Kalazinac had a fair game. So, uh, <laughs> I, I felt it was, uh, you know, there were some pluses to, to, to the game. I think if you look look on it, uh, Reese Nelson started off really sharp. I thought he was yeah, sharp, yeah. First, particularly first half. Fade in the second half, this is what you expect. Um, and I'll tell you what we've got on... You know, whether you, um, uh, I know people don't rate him highly or whatever is in his Eddie, but he, he's just a poacher, he's a goal poacher, he's something mm -hmm. that we've not got, you know, or not had yep. for a very, very long while. I didn't think he was in the game today, I didn't think he did a lot, but when it matters, he's, he's popped up and got a goal. So, and um, yep. yeah, that's what all you can ask for it, you know. So, um, all in all, I thought it was a good performance. El Nenny played well in midfield, by the way. I thought he'd done really well. So, uh, I'm I'm glad you brought him up because that's exactly where I was going next. I wanted to get your thoughts on uh, on Mo El Nenny, and and he's this is this is kind of how I describe players in in that mold. I don't need to read his name in the newspaper tomorrow morning. That if I don't read his name in the newspaper, that means by and large he should have done his job. You know what I mean? Totally it's that you're, I don't think you're ever going to get anything spectacular. Out of Mohamed El Nenny, save the uh, you know save the screamer from forty yards against Barcelona. But uh, um, now I, I I thought Mohamed El Nenny once again acquitted himself very well. This is three three matches in a row where he, maybe he's not man of the match, but he's going to get a shout for it. Uh, I, I give him a solid seven out of ten today. I'd love to get your thoughts on Mo El Nenny. Yeah, hundred percent agree. I think like, he's in a position. He's in a role in the team which is not spectacular. It's never going to be uh, spectacular, and if the thing, if, if he can actually carry on doing what he's doing, he's doing a good job because it, it's in there to just shield the back four. But I, I was impressed with him tonight. I, I had a real good look at him tonight. He was picking the ball up in areas of danger, which you know, if he gets beaten or a bad touch, he's he's really under the under the cosh, comfortably collecting the ball and starting off. You know, many many of our sort of counter attack football. So, I, I'm I'm with you on that. You know, um, if he if you're not going to mention him, he's done a good job. And sometimes these players, you know, I think that he's five million pound player. You know, he was brought into the the Arsenal team to be in the squad, and he's a squad player. And that's what he is. He's never going to be yep. a Patrick Vieira or, or someone right. like that. But I tell you what, he's done a very very good job today. Now, there's two. Trains of fault for me. Um, either Mikel Arteta is liking what he's seeing and is going to give him a chance, or he's putting him in the shop window to sell him. Now, yeah. either way, it's beneficial to us because if uh, if he stays, he's going to be a good squad member for us. He's one of those players. I think if he's playing, he's happy to be playing. If he's not playing, mm -hmm. he's not going to moan. And if um, we can cop with, with if he plays like he has done the last couple of games, you know, people in Turkey in particular. Uh, I play, I played really well last season, they're going to be prepared to pay 10, 15 million pounds for him. Happy days. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. That's uh, I, I don't want to go, I don't want to go too far into the, uh, I, I wasn't even really going to bring it up, but I'll get your thoughts on it real quick. Cause it just popped into my head. Uh, Mateo Guendouzi doesn't get into the side. I'm not going to mention the other guy that didn't get into the side today. Um, <laughs> Guendouzi doesn't get into the side today. And, and to your point about on that place, it, it and it should be a benefit to us either way because if he plays well, it's helping it's helping us in in the match at hand. If he plays well, it hopefully, like you said, is a showcase to sell him on. Guendouzi, just the opposite. He doesn't get a chance to play. So is that hurting his his sell on value? If we are in fact trying to move him on, hundred uh, percent. Uh, you know, I said it today that I felt that maybe today 
was a good chance to just sort of say, um, just to show him what he what he can do because it's been a long while since he's had a game, you know, and people may be uh, forgetting what he's actually doing. But I, I think you know you've you safely got to say today that um, Quinn Doozy and the other one that we're not going to mention is um, they, they, they're done. They're done. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because you can't play yeah. the Caribou Cup. When you're resting players, then you know they're not going to come in against Liverpool. Um, no, uh, it's just not going to happen. So the, it's about getting getting them out now, or, or what we're going to do. So now it's a lot easier to sell Guendouzi than the other guy, right? Because, but you know, um, we ain't doing ourselves any favours by if we're trying to sell him by saying that you, you know he's a bad egg or a bad apple, uh, and. Um, you know, he's not playing. So, you know, I, I can't, I can't see how you're going to sell him really like, you know right. what I mean? Do you, yeah. know, do you understand what I'm saying? So yep, abs- absolutely. Yeah. Perfect opportunity. Just put him in there, let him play well and go, look, this is what he can do. He doesn't fit what we want, but you know, he could fit another team really, really well. I don't really know what's going on. And we need, look, look, we need funds to, to fund where we need to, to be, you know I mean? We yep. need, two, yep. we need two midfield players. We know who they are that we need. Yep. Yep. And we, I don't really want to see us be sacrificing players like um, a, a Bellerin or a Mate the Niles to fund these sort of deals. You know, when you've got right. Doozy in there and, and maybe El Nini, uh in there as well. You know, so uh, I still think, and I'm just, uh, you know, this is only in my opinion that that one big player will go, whether it, right at the end, whether it be Lacazette or somebody like that. To fund to fund something, I can see happening, but you know, because no. uh, I can't see. You know, Torreira looks like he may be going, so that's twenty million. But we need to get a couple more off the books. You know, what's happening with Mustafi and Socrates? Nope. These guys are not going to get games, so they need to be off of off of um, off of our wage bill, off of you know, giving us some sort of funds to to get the players in that we need. Exactly. Uh, last question before I get your man of the match. Uh, any disappointment at all in not seeing William Saliba play tonight? Oh, 100%. Weren't you? Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. But I but I understood, but I understood, I think, why uh, why Arteta went with David Luiz. Because um, I, I thought the, it would have been one of those two. I, I don't think Saliba was going to get in uh, for anybody else. But I disappointed to not see him. But I think I can understand... Um, yeah. getting Louise in and get him, getting him the full 90 minutes before 100%, Liverpool. 100%. Um, you know, he, he's missed the last couple of games. He needed to play yeah. today. No problem with that. But we know what Rob Holding can do. I know what Rob Holding yeah. uh, is about. So I, I would have um, put Saliba in there today. But maybe, you know, listen, you know, I'm not going to question Mikel Arteta. I think maybe he feels he's not quite ready yet. You know, don't forget... He's only uh, 18, 19. He hasn't played yeah. for six months. So maybe he's not quite ready. You don't want to chuck him in. As much as I want to see him, you don't want to chuck him in if he's not ready. Right. Do you know right. what I mean? So uh, especially when you're a young kid, you know, like confidence and whatever. So mm-hmm. from that point of view, I look at it and think, well, okay. But from a personal point, yeah, I, I, I was honestly looking forward to seeing him today. I thought that he would play. Um so uh, yeah, so I'm disappointed, but probably just understand what's going on there, like you know. And I think even Rob Holding still needs a few more games before he can turn around and say he's up to speed because I felt he was poor on uh, Saturday. And uh, yeah, yeah, bits today were good, bits were bad today. Do you know what I'm saying with him? He's, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. So maybe you know, Mikel thought to himself, "Well, these players need game time." So. Um, Hopefully, Tierney's back into the side. Don't forget that um, he'll probably look at that and, f- and think that um, I-, I would imagine that it'll be Louise and uh, Holding along with Gabriel would be the three that they're going to play. So, um, and uh, that you know, like today, I thought Kalazanich done okay today. So that that would you know boost his chance of getting a transfer. Do you know what I mean? So he's yeah, playing yeah. shop window today. So. Yeah, disappointed Saliba ain't playing, weren't playing, but um, I can understand it. Yep. Uh, man of the match. Oh, tough one today. Um, do you know what? I, I felt um, oh, Reese Nelson <laughs> had a very, very good game, but I, 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 think, yep. I know that he faded towards the end, 
But I thought he was superb in the first half, and that was Saka. I thought he was like, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, really made things happen in the first half. Uh, tied towards the in the second half, I felt that he sort of tired and Pepe sort of come into it. But uh, I'm going to go with Saka. I think was as my man of the match. Yeah, that's that seems to be the overwhelming consensus uh, today is is Bukayo Saka. So, uh, oh, so like, I, I didn't know that. So that's what people. Are <laughs> yeah, there yeah. you go. Uh, yeah, there you go. Uh, final thoughts, my friend. Final thoughts. Look, listen, winning mentality. You know, um, and I and I like that about me. Like we played in games like this before, and then Arsene Wenger goes and plays a lot, and, and we lost momentum. You know that winning momentum. I, I think yep. winning is is a key thing, and I think he's picked this up from Pep and, and people like that. that and, and also when he's played under Arsene Wenger, he's seen that you know we're on a good run, and then you you get a little. Um, uh, a defeat like you know when you're playing a seat and you know so I think that he's he's going with the winning mentality I like that attitude I like it that you know whatever game we're playing we want to go in there and win it he, tried, he went strong today I think that giving Bert Leno another game was a good uh, thing you know so from that point of view I think it was a good exercise today look we're in the next round possibly Liverpool in the next round as well so it's another big game for us to look forward to. Yep. And and, yep. and just keep keep the momentum going. Massive game coming up now on Monday. A couple Absolutely. of the big players have been rested that haven't played. Um Liverpool will probably do the same tomorrow. So um let's get them ready and let's let's get up to Anfield and see what we can do. Absolutely, man. Listen, I uh, really appreciate the time. Thanks for coming on and uh, I hope we can do it again soon, Lee. Yeah, definitely. Always a pleasure. No worries, right? Yep. Appreciate it, mate. Have a good okay. night, bud.